The Denver Broncos selected Patrick Sertan II with the ninth pick in the 2021 draft. And on paper, he was a great fit for Vic Vangio's quarters and cover three heavy defense. There were minor concerns about Sertan's man coverage coming out of college, but as a press zone corner on the outside, he was as safe of a prospect as you'll find. So my expectation was that we would see pretty much business as usual when it comes to Denver's coverage splits, but Patrick Sertan ended up having one of the best seasons of all time for a rookie corner, and he unlocked a new version of Vic Vangio's defense that caused him to shift his coverage philosophy. Compared to other positions, cornerback has a really steep learning curve from college to the NFL. Rookie cornerbacks that get early playing time usually give up a ton of yards and are legitimate weak spots on their defense but Patrick Sertan's rookie year was as impressive as I've seen from a cornerback, especially given how difficult his job was. Sports Info Solutions, which I use for a lot of stats, uh, they have a metric called points above replacement, which quantifies the total value that a player adds over the entire season compared to what a replacement level performance would be. And Patrick Sertan had the third highest points above replacement ever for a rookie cornerback. Marshawn Lattimore and Shaq Griffin surprisingly beat him out, but clearly you can see just the names that he's with. It's not normal for rookie cornerbacks to be this good. So Patrick Sertan, even in his first year, is the type of corner that changes what you can do defensively. And we've got to briefly discuss what Vic Vangio's defense is before we can see how it changed. So the base coverage in Vic Vangio's defense is cover six, which they ran at the highest rate in the NFL last season. Cover six is a combo coverage with quarters to the passing strength and cover two to the weak side. And it allows you to push coverage to the side with more receivers, so you're naturally balancing out the numbers. And Patrick Sertan is a really good zone corner. He can close windows from a back pedal extremely quickly. So when he's the flat defender on the weak side of cover six, he makes a lot of plays on the football, but shallow zone coverage is not where a player with as much talent as Patrick Sertan really adds value. Because what Sertan can do that most other corners can't is lock down high level receivers in single coverage without any help. So Vangio's strategy last season was to give Patrick Sertan one threat to eliminate and then roll or cloud the coverage to the opposite direction. So cover eight is a variation of cover six where you flip the sides and you play cover two to the passing strength and quarters with Patrick Sertan on the weak side. Quarters, especially in a Vangio, Staley, or Wade Phillips type of defense is gonna be played with match principles. So Sertan is basically just all alone in man coverage on the backside. This weak safety doesn't need to play bracket coverage or give him any help over the top. Sertan just locks down his side and lets Vangio call whatever he wants with the other six coverage defenders. Against teams like the Chiefs or Bengals with elite deep threats, Denver would play cover two cloud to the side of Tyreek Hill or Jamar Chase. This puts a safety over the top and a flat defender underneath the team's number one receiver. And there's nothing stopping other teams from running these sorts of coverages and eliminating an offense's number one threat. But there's also nothing stopping offenses from investing high draft capital in a wide receiver too, like T. Higgins, who could be a lot of teams number one. So if you've got Michael Ojemudie or Isaac Yadam on the weak side of cover eight, NFL quarterbacks nowadays are going to kill you 20 yards at a time with backside digs until you send over some help. But if you have Patrick Sertan, who can and does lock up number one receivers, you feel good about leaving him alone on the number two. So Patrick Sertan is really comfortable playing off coverage, which I think most people underestimate the difficulty of, but he's also an island in press man, and the 2021 Broncos defense is a perfect example of how a defensive coordinator might have some distinct innovative philosophy, but in reality, they'd rather just play cover one. I expect Denver to run a similar defensive scheme this year, and if we assume just an average second year jump from Patrick Sertan, you're looking at a top three to four cornerback in the NFL. Everyone would have told you at the time of this pick that the Broncos were stacked at corner and they should have taken Justin Fields at nine, and they may end up being right, but at this point it's looking like Denver made the correct choice.